what you do. Yo, good morning. It's like around, I don't know what time it is, anyway. But yeah, good morning, good morning, everybody. So yesterday I came out here, I cleaned my chicken coop up, man. I cleaned it up, I moved it. Um, hopefully we're doing so. The chickens will be more comfortable inside their house. Still got them roam around the backyard, you know, in the daytime. And, and uh, some I keep them in there sometimes, but like I said, I moved the chicken coop. So a bunch of food. See, I'm learning this shit too. A bunch of food is down there too, where the chicken coop was previously. And um, what I noticed is, I'm not gonna put no more food inside of the chicken coop. I put the food outside the chicken coop. They come outside the chicken coop. They eat, poop, do whatever they do outside. Then go in there, they be more green, da, da, da. even though they gonna poop in there too, but I don't wanna have them eating and pooping on top of everything, so. I moved it. With that being said, I'm hoping there's some eggs in here. And, um, there isn't. Okay. So, I'm going to try to do some more research on these chickens. Maybe they're too young because they look kind of small. I don't know if they can. I think they're juveniles. Because the chicken that was laying eggs, I think she died. I think that's the one that died because one of them. One of my egg laying chickens. I did have one that was laying eggs. She was bigger, but I no longer see her. I, she was the biggest. The biggest one died. Okay, so maybe they're just too young to lay eggs. I just gotta be patient. That's cool. Anyway, um, today we're gonna um, we'll take a couple of dogs over there to the hill. I'm um, gonna get them run up and down the hill, get them some exercise, man. Um, I know we're running through the backyard, give them exercise too, but they just it's a little different. Okay, it's a little bit different. Also, I'm gonna run with them. Give me some exercise, all right? Also today, I will be cleaning off this. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put everything, but I'm gonna get back to using my gym. It's not as hot outside anymore, so the metal isn't burning. That was the problem. Everything was too hot out here. So, and I'm making up excuses. Like I should be making up excuses. Stop making up excuses. So I'm gonna get, I'm getting my life in order, getting more organized. I'm gonna move these bikes and move this out the way Put my grill somewhere where I probably on this corner facing my way where I can come out here and throw me some on the grill. Um, all this has to get moved. The thing is, where do I move it? My garage is being occupied by my little devils. And um, where would I move it where the grass won't be completely dead and there's literally no place? But anyway, I'm going to uh, flatten out all these kennels right here, all these metal kennels, flatten them out. Um, that way, when I put, set these and stuff over top of it, it won't be directly on the grass. The grass will still be able to breathe underneath underneath it. I'm thinking that will help. Um, I'm thinking that will help. So, I got something I got to do. I'm going to get to it, and I'll catch you guys on the next scene when I'm taking the dogs over the hill. Thank you, guys. Hey, I just want to say something first before I click off this and write this little drum back up. The text messages, the emails, the calls that I get of y'all just encouraging me, telling me that you guys been watching me for so many years, and all this, man, it all means everything to me. Like you, y'all don't understand. However, y'all feel discouraged, um, um, insecure about things, feel like you're not good enough for shit, or feel like you should be somewhere. You know, you feel like you should be doing better. Blah, blah. I feel the same things that y'all feel. Trust me, y'all are not alone in this fight of trying to get their life together. Okay, I'm trying to get my life together too. Everybody's trying to get their life together. So when you hit me up and you encourage me, I appreciate that because every time I upload a video, I'm trying to do the same thing for y'all. I'm trying to encourage y'all. I'm trying to tell you, you can do better. Life, you can you can literally reinvent yourself. You can literally reinvent yourself today. When you open my video up, if you want to be a different person and you want to do things differently, you can do it. You can start right now. So every day I wake up, I'm trying to reinvent myself um, I'm trying to get back on, get on a, a better schedule. Not as far as the dogs, but personal. Like my, I feel like my personal schedule isn't where I want it to be. I feel like I'm spending enough time doing things to heal myself. And I'm, and I'm talking about 
um, cooking good food. Stop microwaving stuff. All I gotta do is cut the vegetables up, put some oil in the pot and do it. It might take a little bit longer. It's gonna take more than four minutes, but it's gonna be better. The food is gonna be healthier. So it's just little things like that I'm trying to get in order because I know that I could be better. I know I can and I don't like how I am right now. I'm not accepting my energy. I'm not accepting the way I handle my the way I handle myself. I'm just not accepting it right now. So what I can do and what I will do to be better is try. That's all I can say. All I can do is try. I don't have a plan. I have a little plan as far as just writing things down, but that's it. But I just gotta, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. And as you know, I upload videos every day. So you guys are gonna be able to see the effort. Maybe I'll start showing you guys what I do to work out. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Let me just get to a point in my workout journey where I can see the transformation. Then when I'm making videos, I don't know. I'm making them excuses again. I don't know. Kiss you guys on the next scene. Prince, Prince, Prince return. Dream what up. Dream, I'm still good jumping, man. Gosh. Okay, now I'll go over the impact, huh? Dream. I'm going to tell you what, buddy. Still available. Fire. 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 And there's fire in the sky. 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 Where's Hazel at? Hazel! <coughs> Hazel in the coop laying down. I mean, in the uh, kennel laying down with the door open. Hazel, you not standing up? No, come on. Come on, Hazel. You know, you, know, you can not my garage. Hazel, let's go, girl. Junior, come on, Hazel. See why you keep dogs hungry? See, if they was a little bit of hungry, just a little bit, they commands, they'd be on point with it. See, I've been letting them get full lately. And hey, look at them. Look how they at. Just coach on the coach. Come on, little Prince. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Thank you, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I've been trying to clean this off, y'all. Got this stuff stacked up over there. I really need a shed, but it's not my house. 
So I want to buy a shed and then have to pay to get it removed. I'm going to bring the puppies back here, the three puppies that are available. Put these in their count. Come on. I gotta come back here and clean up too. All right, Dookie, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, go. Get out of that Dookie in there. I'll be back in a second. Take it with the trash can, <laughs> shovel, and all that. Also, while I'm back there, getting the trash can, the shovel, and all that. I'm gonna bring the three pups and let them get some fresh air. I know y'all see all that food in that bowl, man. They just. Whew. One thing about this dog being the garage stuff, man. If one of the dogs poop, the other ones would think, oh shit, it's time to poop too. So they pooping, they pooping food that, just, that they just ate. So it's all watery. Now, if they just wait, if I separate them, only put a couple of them in here and have them set, separate out, all they poops be solid. But the moment they bite by each other, one of them poop, the other one poop, the other one poop. This is a lot, bro. Now I gotta get, bring these blues to the backyard so they can get on some grass. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You see the brand on his coat. <laughs> Like chocolate and blue, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three of them, three of them. Who y'all think gonna win? Them three versus this three. Who y'all who y'all got? Hey, hey! Hey! Hey, no, no! Mm. Eat some biters right here, y'all. No. Hey, you better not, Junior. Junior. Junior's so bad, he's trying to bite him through the cage. Junior. Come on, y'all. Come on. He's delivering this all thrown off. What y'all think? Then they're going to go in this cage. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oops. Two. Two. Oh. Mm. Okay. So I actually got a plan. What I'm gonna do is, the kennels that's in the garage, I'm gonna take off the back of one. Take off the back of two, or take off the back of one because I'm gonna use one that's in the back and push it to one of the other sides. So listen, you know the, the kennels in the garage, there's a door on this side, door on this side, a separate in the middle. I'm gonna connect them. I'm gonna take off the middle, so one of them be, instead of five by five, one of them be a 10 by 10. Um, a 10 by five. 5x10, be a 5x10 instead of a 5x5. Five five. And I'm going to put the girls, I'm going to put these three in a 5x10 and get them out of those stackable kennels. They're no longer being in the stackable kennel. So they finally get to the age where they biting on my kennel, pulling it, breaking my kennel down. So those kennels are for Frenchies. There's three of them. It's only for Frenchies and small dogs. These dogs got too strong now. They're starting to break my cage. So we're going to move these three. We're gonna move these three to um to the bigger counts, which is the five by ten. Right now they're five by fives. We're gonna turn it to a five by ten so all three of them can have room to move around inside of there. 
Um, as far as these dogs, man, they uh, they can break this. I'm thinking. Look at that. I gotta get, them. I gotta get a zip tie. This right there, that girl in the middle, feisty. Where she at? These some feisty pups, y'all. If you want that feistiness in your yard, if your dog crazy, your dog ain't got ain't really that active, and you're trying to add some active blood to your yard, hit me up at 206-499-0422. This is the type of activity you want in the XL bullies, man. My time, boy. Look, look bad, bad. What you bad. What's your name, bitch, Tom? Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, these is a uh, very active, very high-driven dog. This one right there in the middle is bad. That's the boy right there, bit of Tom. He gonna tear her up. She keep on. All right, these some beautiful puffs, though, y'all. In a few days, we gonna take them uh, and get their ears checked out, get their ears clean. Um, get the stitches and staples removed next week. I think like 10 days or something. Yeah, wait 10 days. Okay. Stop! Hey! 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 See this shit? Y'all stop acting like them. Catch you guys in this video.